The box contains the PTS, operator's manual, USB memory stick, which has the operator's manual in 12 languages, certificate of calibration, air pressure torque graph, air pressure torque chart, and a self-sealing quick-release coupling for the supply hose. The operator's manual should be read and fully understood before the tool is used. The PTS needs to be used with a suitable pressure regulator and air lubrication system, such as the Norbar Lubro control unit we are using here. This is supplied with a 3 meter hose that connects the Lubro unit to the PTS. Before using the Lubro unit, ensure that the filter bowl is below the maximum drain level and the lubricator bowl contains sufficient air tool grade oil. The oil flow on the lubricator unit needs to be adjusted to four drops per minute. This is done using the oil drop sight glass. Turn the sight glass clockwise to decrease the flow or counterclockwise to increase. This must be done with the tool running. Airflow direction is shown by arrows on the label and on the Lubro unit body. Input and output hoses need to be connected accordingly. Ensure all hoses are clean, in good condition and free from dirt and water. Then connect the self-sealing quick release coupling to the end of the hose that will be connected to the PTS. Now connect the other end of the hose to the outlet port of the Lubro control unit. Connect the air supply hose to the inlet port of the Lubro control unit. Prior to connecting the PTS to the air supply, ensure you have the correct socket and reaction attached. The reaction can be easily changed by removing the circlip. To fit a reaction, slide over the spline and retain with the circlip. Fit a socket to the tool and secure with a retention device. Connect the air hose to the tool by firmly pushing the hose quick release coupling over the tool's quick connect inlet. Use the supplied air pressure torque graph or chart to find the correct air pressure required for achieving the desired torque. With the tool running, alter the air pressure adjuster until the required pressure is shown on the unit's pressure gauge. Never exceed the maximum air pressure stated on the tool's certificate of calibration. Attach the PTS to the bolt and ensure there is nothing between the reaction and the reaction point. Before operation, check that the clockwise and counterclockwise direction selector on the back of the tool is correctly set. Partially squeeze the trigger or triggers to bring the reaction squarely into contact with the reaction point and release the trigger. To tighten the joint, ensure the trigger or triggers are fully pressed until the tool stalls to ensure the correct torque is achieved. The secondary handle is an easy to fit and versatile accessory. To reduce the risk of hands getting trapped, a dual trigger version of the PTS can be purchased. The module is also available as an accessory. In this case, the PTS will require recalibration.